Hello, I am Victor Paredes and I want to show you very quickly how to create cycles in Moho 14.4 SideQuest. Okay, so I have this animation here. You can see it's the character walking and the first keyframe here is exactly the same. Sorry, the last keyframe is exactly the same as the first keyframe here. Okay, so the way cycles worked in the past and it still works today, but uh, but we made some improvements here is that you select the last keyframes here, only the last ones, right click on them and select the cycle here. Okay. By default, if you look at the cycle window here or at the keyframe window here, by default, a cycle will always go back to frame two. Let me just zoom in here. The reason for this is that the last keyframe here and the first keyframe are the same, exactly the same position. So the cycle will have to go to frame two in order to continue the animation without repeating one frame. So now I have the, the cycle created here. Okay. Now, the problem about this is that, let me just undo, I don't have the cycle anymore, is that this works well if your cycle is starting on frame two, right? Or it's starting on frame one and then going back here. But if your cycle is, is starting at the very beginning of the animation, but let's say this character starts walking, I don't know, on frame 36. Okay. So now we have this animation here and then the animation of the walk cycle starts on frame 36. If I use the old system, I select the, the last keyframe and select cycle and the cycle goes back to frame two by default. So I always had to come back to the cycle window here and drag this until it goes back to the right frame, which is here. Okay. So now my cycle is working fine. So this is not so bad if you are very close to frame zero, but let me just undo all this again. And let's say my cycle starts, um, I don't know, I'm going to zoom out. Like my cycle starts, I don't know, at second 10. Okay. So I am here, I'm going to zoom in. And now I select this and right click and select the cycle. Now it's going back to frame two. And now if I want to drag, I will have to drag a lot in order to reach this, this frame, or I will have to look for, okay, this frame is 241. So I will have to select this and say 241. Okay. Not a big deal, but not ideal. Okay, uh, kind of annoying. So now let me just undo this again. And I want to show you, now that I show you the problem, I want to show you the solution for this. So let's say my cycle is going to start frame for uh, 54 here, okay? So now what I do is I can simply select all the keyframes related to the cycle. In this case, all the keyframes are related. So I selected all of them and I right click and create the cycle. And now the cycle automatically will go to the right frame. Okay. Because it is using the information of the selected keyframe. So it knows, okay, the cycle ends here and it knows it, it starts here. So the cycle needs to go back to the frame next to that one. And I have this. Okay. So if I repeat this, let me just undo the cycle. If again, if I move this to whatever frame I want, like, I don't know, 312, I can simply select this and create the cycle and the cycle will be already in the right position. Okay. So it's a small thing, but I think it's going to uh, save a lot of time, especially if you are creating cycles later in the animation. Okay. The only thing that you need to consider is that you need to have keyframes for, for whatever channel you, you are animating. You need to have keyframes at the first, um, at the beginning of the cycle and at the end of the cycle. If you don't have a keyframe in any of these positions, the cycle is not going to work correctly. Okay. That's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.